Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2018, now this is the new JL, Jeep Wrangler. So this one is in the Rubicon trim level. This is, this video is specifically for the lighting, so the interior and exterior lighting. If you want the full feature overview video, you can check out my channel for several trim levels of the new JL Wrangler. So right now I have the headlights completely off. So even with the headlights completely off and the engine running, uh, you do have the daytime running lights here on the side and LED, and you have the halos. So this one has the LED headlight package. Now this is something that you can add actually to the Sahara or the, uh, the Sport from what I understand. It's in the accessory catalog. So you can see the halos are quite bright. And of course these are too. So just to give you an idea of the brightness, I'm just kind of back up and we'll kind of look at the ground a little bit. Now I have the uh, the brightness on my camera down so we can give you a more accurate view of what it looks like but just gonna pull it up a little bit just kind of give you a little bit of a a view of what it looks like here on the ground it's hard to tell a little bit on the ground until I turn the headlights on but uh, right about there is about with my naked eye this is about what it looks like hopefully it's representing the lighting accurately anyway okay so I do have some spillover light from the dealership, but uh, give you an idea of what it looks like here. So let me go ahead and turn the, the parking lights on. So now that the parking lights are on, the tail lights turn on as well. So before it was just the lights in the front, everything back here was, was, was dark. So you see it has the glowing LEDs and the tail lights. You also have the LED tag light there on the side. So now that I turned the parking lights on, the fog lights are now uh, lit up. They're LED fog lights in a reflector housing. And I found out that is something that you can add to the other trim levels as well. You know, not just the Rubicon. So you can see the fog lights, you know, give you some illumination there on the ground. And I have a building there to shine the headlights on to show you, but just to give you an idea of what's going on right now. So here's the turn signal here in the back. Really bright LEDs. You also have a side marker there. So now I have the headlights on, low beams, and the turn signal on. So you can see it has the amber flashing light. You notice, you may notice this, uh, LEDs are just on or off. There's no fading on or off. It's just on or off. And here's a side marker. So there's the headlights. So you can see the headlights are in a projector tube there in the center, kind of give it a, giving it a focused beam. And now when we look here, you can see it's actually shining on that building and there's some vehicles there, but you can see it has a clear line of distinction. So above that line, you don't want to blind people in the cars coming towards you or whatever. So that line keeps the light below that. Oh, so that way it's really bright below the line of sight, I guess you could say with other vehicles, but you have really good visibility as far as you can, as far as you can go anyway. So I'm going to give you a first person view here. There's low beams, there's high beams. So you can see it's much more spread out. There's low beams. And there's high beams. Taking a closer look here, there's low beams, high beams. So this is what it looks like from the outside with the high beams on. The fog lights turn off, and then you have a differently, a different focused beam coming from that projector tube.
Okay, so let's start looking on the inside, starting in the cargo space back here. So you have that center dome light, and it illuminates really well this cargo area. And so you can see that there's some plastic there, so it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but it is, with my naked eye, really clear and easy to see back here, even though there's black carpet. Um, but good thing these items here, so I can kind of put that pretty much anywhere, and you can see it's illuminated. And the center dome light is kind of a little bit further back from the back seat, so that way if somebody's sitting in there, it's not going to obstruct the, the light. When you lift up this compartment, it's dark, so, and the interior light doesn't really shine in there unless you really flip this back, and then it will illuminate this compartment. Okay, so looking at the back seat, the inside of the back door is dark, so I don't see any backlit illumination there. There's the dome light, so you can see you have the dome light in the back for the cargo, but some of that light goes into the passenger department compartment here and the seats are black so picking it up on camera is not all that great but it is pretty visible now you also have the light there which share is kind of shared between the the front and back passengers just to give you some context of where we're at uh, the camera doesn't really pick up black very good with the light shining on i could see quite well back here but the camera's not picking it up quite well. So I have the night vision on right now. So looking under here, there is some backlit illuminated symbols there for your USB drive port and the, um, the charging port and the uh, USB-C ports there. There's also light here on the floorboard. You can see where my foot is getting some light. Uh, now that could be spillover light from the front but uh, let's turn the night vision off and can't really see it all good. But anyways, there's a little bit of light shining here on my foot and um, just, just underneath the seat, but it's really, really faint. Okay, so looking at the front here, uh, in the inside of the door has some backlit buttons. So the side mirror adjustments and the door locks are illuminated in the door. The rest of the door is dark. And I left that floor mat in place, this, this paper mat, just so you can see. And I'll show you the passenger side, which doesn't have it, just so you can see the, the brightness of the illumination in the front floorboard. Now, that's probably some of the light that's going in the back. That's what it appears to be. So here's the illuminated buttons for your headlights. So this is where you turn them off. Parking light. Headlights. And then automatic. And then this button right here in the center is your part your your fog lights and then your dimmer switches are over here so i'm going to use the dimmer switch just kind of show you what it just the general look of what it looks like as i cycle through that so i have the door open now if i turn this all the way down the interior lights turn off i can bump it up one time the interior li interior lights turn on and then it really bright right there now even when i turn the interior lights all the way off you still have uh, floorboard illumination which is neat so I notice even when I have the headlights on automatic it still alerts me that the that the headlights are on so it gives me an audible tone until I shut the door so usually that's something that only happens when you have the headlights on but anyways when I shut the door interior lights kind of fade away and we're left with the back lights so you can see the backlit buttons here on the steering wheel. And there's your information, your dash, digital screen, kind of cycle through that just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Here's your touch screen. We'll go to navigation and see what it looks like. The map looks like at night. And the screen, let me just kind of cycle through the brightness here. 
and get it really bright, which basically turns it off day mode, or night mode, and then one click down, then it has this, and then you can adjust that, and all your interior lights go up and down with that. Even the cup holders are illuminated as well. So right in here, let me give you some context with the night vision, because it's not really picking it up all good. So, so here we go, there's the cup holders, and you can see, hopefully, there's a little bit of illumination in here. So that's where we're at. Let me turn the night vision off, and maybe you can pick up a little bit on that you see a little bit of illumination in there, which is nice. Turn the night vision back on. We're going to continue on with this. I'm going to look under here. Because it's all dark. There is some light in here. So this is the compartment. There's a backlit USB port. And then there's a light in here. So let me turn the night vision off. And hopefully you can see put my hand in there so it'll focus so there's some illumination in this compartment and then you have the backlit USB port there glove compartment is dark so there's no lights in that rear view mirror has the uh, roadside assistance and SOS buttons backlit as well as your passenger airbag um, alert system right here is illuminated and your home link garage door opener controls here on the visor you see the visor you can see those are actually backlit and the visor flips down and you have the lights and the mirrors i'm going to put it in reverse so we can see what the backup camera looks like clarity looks pretty darn good i mean we do have some uh lights outside you know here in the dealership but the illumination mostly right behind the vehicle is coming from the reverse lights and also of course the camera itself um you know increasing the brightness so we get better visibility so the floorboard showed you this floorboard with the mat in place here's the with the black mat you can still see how bright it is in the floorboard that's nice I really like an illuminated floorboard it just makes you feel like you're not so much in the dark especially if you drop something that's like a place where you know it's hard to see if there's no light so I'm glad they added that okay there you have it 2018 the new JL Jeep Wrangler interior and exterior lighting of this vehicle hopefully this has been useful and has been accurate to my eyes as far as filming this it's a little tricky but uh Anyways, this is the Rubicon. It does have a lot of ads, has pretty much all LED lighting. So um, not all the Wranglers are like this. This is pretty much maxed out as far as all the lighting packages. But anyways, give you an idea of what it looks like. I think it looks really cool. Let me what you th know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching and thank you to Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Whiteville, North Carolina for allowing me to show off another awesome vehicle. And I'll see you guys next time.